in search of a need for volunteers to come out and help service those. Put a mask on, put some gloves on, come and help. I promise you, you would feel so much better inside knowing that you're doing something for someone else other than ourselves. Well, it's been a really a tremendous experience because uh, we have uh, right now people in need. And it's a blessing out here just to serve God and help the people that are in need. So I, I see when I go to get the food, it's, it's, it's a blessing to see how many people that are in the business of helping people. Well, I'm hoping that the Lord will touch the hearts of the unchurched. And when we are back together or even on our website, they'll be able to get the service. I am hoping that it's not just about the food, but also about the Lord. This is not for self-gratification, but we are doing, we are about our Father's business and that what He has told us to do. And it is good to do good on the Sabbath. And that I feel is what we're doing. Well, first of all, we're making sure that we're giving them the traditional COVID question screening and prayerfully their answers are no. We take their temperatures, we're taking their names and the phone number. In the rare occurrence that someone does come up with the disease, the virus, and if this is the last place they were within the last five days, et cetera, we can at least track back and see who was here. Everyone can be notified. So we're trying to keep it as legal as possible. We want to serve the community, but we want to do it safely. We're also making sure all of our people have gloves on as they're handling. Even if they're just standing around, they have to be in mask and gloves. We're enjoying the fellowship. We have work to do, but we have to stay legal and stay safe. That's our whole goal. Help the community, but help ourselves stay safe. We absolutely need more hands on deck. Like my mom says, many hands make the work light. So it's a joy to do it, but it's even more of a joy when there are a lot more hands to help it go quickly. Hi, well, my name is Stephanie Lewis Bennett and I, I'm so glad to be a member of Valley Fellowship where Pastor Ferron Savoy is our senior pastor. You know, I have a the shirt that says Grace Strip. So Valley gives grace. You know, sometimes we want to splash or flood a river, but that steady drip of love and kindness and compassion. And that's why a group of members in the community service department headed by Carolyn Farley and Al you know, we come Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because we want to show the community that our love and our grace is here. Close, uh, our church is closed, but our hearts open. And, you know, I've been at this church for a while, but we're on fire now. It's a small group, but we're on fire and it's growing and growing. You know, I really feel good. I feel good. I listen to, you know, inspiration early in the morning. Then I come out and I serve. Um, just being in this area, if you live Rialto, Colton, Fontana, I know our border cross, San Bernardino, and you need someone or a neighbor, especially a neighbor, you might be okay, but your neighbor might be afraid to go outside or haven't made that store run, or the boxes are just too heavy to carry. We also deliver to the senior uh, on 2nd Street, and we also deliver food to a local hotel where people are staying. We have boxes just for that microwave and refrigerator, so hey. Join Valley Fellowship Community Service and uh, be a part. Yes, not just food, but services. Uh, Rialto Family Health Service has partnered and collaborated with Valley Fellowship Seventh-day Adventist Church. And we have an outreach program that extends beyond the congregation here. We go to the senior citizens uh, facility and deliver not just foods, but a message of caring and concern. We also have a veterans program that we partnered with, with Valley Fellowship in which the homeless veterans that are housed in one of the hotels here, we go by and deliver services and food. The services are quite extensive for veterans, disability upgrades, discharge upgrades, acquisition of their DD214, and food baskets. 
Uh, we look forward to working with Valley on more programs throughout the community here in Rialto. So we have just uh, wrapped up going out into the community and one of the things that I love about our food distribution is what happened today. We actually went out, Elder Guyton and myself, uh, the head elder from our church here at Valley, and began knocking on doors and we came across a young lady by the name of Netta who was literally on her way to the grocery store to go and buy food. Um, when we knocked on her door, let her know that a lot of the staples that she was going to be buying that we were giving away for free. Uh, she got in her car, got in there, came through, was blessed by it. But what was so crazy about it was that she saw us again as we were knocking on other doors and she said, let me know how I can help you because you have helped me. Oh, it's just a blessing to be here, you know, to help serve. Uh, people are in need. Uh, things are going on right now that people just need help. So I just want to be helpful, you know. It's always nice, you know, serving the Lord, serving our community, and uh, just being a blessing to others. As I've seen people come through here uh, walking, and, and, and they're so blessed, you know, driving through that to get this food. And they be saying, thank you. We appreciate it so much. People are hurting out there. So yes, it's, this is good. This is something good. I'm glad that we as a church family, uh, led by a pastor, that we can do this. You know, and uh, I just look forward to serving people. Hi, I'm Baron Savori, and I'm the pastor of the Valley Fellowship SDA Church. Uh, I'm just so proud of what our church is doing um, in, in meeting the community's needs. We're not like the largest one or the biggest one, but what it is that we are doing, we're doing our absolute best in meeting the needs of this community and connecting with them. And furthermore, uh, those members that come out, I just really believe and see that they're getting a blessing from serving the community themselves. It's just really been uplifting to them and encouraging to them, not only to see each other while staying socially distanced, but to also see the, the joy that it brings to other families. Uh, I would appeal to those of you all that are part of the Valley Fellowship family or are in the area that you come and you lend your hands and your support. You're having a chance to see uh, what is going on and what it is that we're doing here and we'd love for it to continue to expand and grow uh, but we need more hands on deck and the support of you members and friends and others to help continue to make this happen uh, every second and fourth Saturday is when we're distributing right here at the church um, looking to continue to do this as we know that this virus is lasting a lot longer than any of us planned. And so uh, if you want to make a difference and serve the community, contact Sister Fairley, reach out to me, uh, come and lend your hands, not only on Saturdays, but also during the week when we're packing boxes and looking to just try to get things ready so that we can have a successful food distribution. Thanks a lot. God bless you all. And uh, we'll just keep serving.